Hello, welcome to my channel Lady D and this will be my video on the reading for the collective for the new moon that we've got coming up this week which will be on the 24th at 9.57 a.m. my time in Sydney and we're looking, it's going to be in Sagittarius this new moon. So this new moon in Sagittarius, it's actually I feel I feel actually it's going to be quite good with some of the transits we have this week. Um, I feel like Sagittarius has got a lot of energy. So not only do we have the Sun and, and the Moon conjuncting with this new Moon, plus we have Venus and we have Mercury conjuncting all in Sag. So there's a lot of Sag energy coming up with this, um, which is like it's fire. So we, we've needed a bit of fire because we haven't had fire, um, the energy in a, in a while. And I feel like this is going to be about expressing your feelings. It's about embracing change. It's it's about making exciting plans. When we're dealing with Sagittarius, we are dealing with um, people who, when you meet a Sagittarius, they're very fun, loving people. They're fun. They're very youthful people. They like to travel. They're risk takers. They're the storytellers. They're the actors and actresses. They're the pretty people. So this is all going to be about... Um, I feel like emotionally, you're probably going to, the energy is going to be feeling it quite better. Um, so that's going to be a spotlight on looking at like freedom, possibilities opening up for us, new opportunities, it, it embracing, it is a mutable sign. So it's about embracing change and feeling adjustable when changes happen, adjusting to change, not being like, oh no. Um, we're, we still may be feeling some of the other energies coming up this week, like with the Saturn in Aquarius. So there could be some oppositions or some feeling of, um, I feel like some sort of resentment or um, chaos to do with technology and I, I guess humanity and where it's going. But overall with these conjunctions that we have in Sagittarius, I feel like it's going to put a blanket of positivity on things as well. With the Venus and Mercury, again, we're thinking about our freedoms. We're thinking about the beauty in things. We're also um, be able, maybe be able to communicate things better. And, you know, being the actors and actresses, so we may see some more um, people, I guess, in the media um, putting on a show because it's about entertaining, putting on a show for people as well. But it's going to be like a spotlight on something. I feel like there's going to be some sort of spotlight on um, on something coming up this week. I feel like we're still dealing with America and stuff that's going on there. We've also we've got here, but I feel like this conjunction with the Sag and Venus um, is going knowing knowing where you stand in relationships. So it's like demanding just so we find out where we stand in relationships, where we are with people, and no more like being like mucked around in relationships. It's about exploring new friendships and relationships, so exploring new um, things. Also, um, exploring with money endeavours too. We're looking at Venus. We are looking at money as well as love. Uh, we've got here taking risk, and it's also about love, in, so financial as well as relationships. So um, still with that, that Uranus in Taurus, so we don't take too much of a bigger risk. But I do feel like the energies that are there maybe want you to take that bit more of a risk this week. Um, I've got here, um, talk to again, but talking to like-minded people, communicating might flow better this week, coming up with this, um, talking to people who again, like-minded people who share your sense of, um, self-worth and sensibility to, that you can relate to. Plan holidays, travel, that is a good time to start planning holidays, travel, or to go away on a short break. Um, go on an adventure. At this stage, it is about taking that risk. So it's about being adventurous and going on adventures and trying new things. So um, I just got, you know, go out on adventure, create your own adventure. And I got here, like, just to go out and, and just have fun. It's a very fun energy coming up this week. I feel like it's quite positive. We're also um, looking, we've also got the square with Mars and Neptune. With this, this can actually put, and this has been sort of happening for a while, that's, that's coming in more in this week. Um, this also could be with this energy, I guess, dissolves anger or dissolves like any sort of, it could be a dissolve of frustration, not only the delusion I was talking about. Because when I see Neptune in charts, um, 
I know a lot of astrologers don't read Neptune as dissolved, but I do. I read it as it takes away. So having it conjunct or a square angle with Mars can be like a dimming um, the frustration or dimming the anger coming up. Like when we saw the, the bombing um, the, which was happened this week in Poland, which turns out it was um, from um, not Russia, it was a different other apparently. But anyway, you see like it threw like a cool on it. So it was like to find the heat up and then it sort of cooled down. So these energies could be a, not so much like a, it could be a delusion, rose colored glasses, um, and I feel like that was a bit of that too. But it also could be um, like a cooling of thing, a cooling of frustration, or a, like a cooling of anger um, as well. So you might find that what what would make you angry may not, depending where this is in your chart um, and what is around your own Mars in your chart too. I got here, um, not as angry, I got delusion with um, social circles or networks coming up with this here, but like there could be a, a thing of being overconfident or having a blame game, like blaming someone, not taking that responsibility. Uh, I got here, put out um, like your motivation, like what, what your energy trying to get motivated or you know like burning a candle, a candle might be burnt out so the fire you know we've got this sage energy you might find that you're not as motivated with this square here and i've got double check all your paperwork that you can double check to make sure that there's no mistakes being made what else i've got coming up for this week i got here we've got change but live with no regret is that risk taking that risk it's about living with no regret and then we have misty you know, all day's been in my way so okay let's see if she comes over we got no reg um, no regrets um got here taking taking the risk of like being resilient on setbacks and um back in bouncing back so being resilient when things happen and bouncing back is going to be important this week coming up um and it's it is part of that sagittarius energy of being that resilient you know bouncing back not letting things get you down and and do keep on moving moving forward Got be open to your destiny. So we've got this, this Uranus energy here, which can be unexpected, unusual, twists and turns. And part of that is about embracing embracing your um, opportunities that are coming to you, good or bad. So energies, um, we've got here, be open to meet new people, um, which is like a Sag thing. They're very friendly people and they want to meet new people. But be positive, it is a week, and I do feel like it's becoming more positive to the energies. And we got be open to new possibilities. That's what I get for this week. Let's do some cards and see what I get with the cards. Because... And it could be that we don't try not to overreact. Like sometimes with the sad, you know, we'll just we we'll just do it. We we'll just do it. Take that risk. Just do it. But I do feel like there need to be there does need to be some sort of aspect of reality, all that thinking as well. Let's do some cards here. Sorry if you can hear that someone's mowing their lawn. And you can sort of see like in the story that are coming up to you about the freedoms. Like even today I heard another, there was another big grocery store here who are now relaxing their policies on the thing in the arm as well. So a lot of things are happening to do with freedoms. There's a lot of movements happening. This is, we are coming into quite good energy um, as well. Let's have a look. Okay, so I've got a mixture of things coming out here with the card. This week there could be like a big announcement coming up this week and I feel like we're dealing with the announcements going to be, to be on, could be, let's see what I'm doing here. 
Okay, so I feel like there is an announcement coming up here and it could be to do with like something about war or fighting or something about the warlike energy that's, that's coming up here um, that we might hear in the media or even in your own lives. I do feel like it's about forgive and forget this week. Um, let, let, let bygones be guide bygones moving forward. There is a re reward. I do see reward coming up too. So it could be a good week for being rewarded. Um, I've got like taking care of your responsibility, not like not letting people down. But again, it's about the embracing of change, embracing of other people, embracing where they stand. But I feel like this week too is going to be about the opportunity to learn new things and to explore um, things that are you know not quite. I think the mainstream maybe are a bit different um, is about exploring those things. I do feel like we do need to be careful of temptation this week. Sometimes when we take those risks, it could be something to do with temptation. And we still do have those um, that square with Neptune. And Neptune is in Pisces, so it is about mental health. It is also about drugs and that risk-taking energy. We don't want to take so much risk, those sort of dangerous risks. Risks like I'm talking about is more about things that are going, oh, let's go out on a, should we go on a bushwalk? Is it going to rain? Go out, have fun, take an umbrella. Um, there's also an aspect here of preparing for something too. Um, and again, I feel like this is about some sort of fighting or warlike energy coming up here this week. Um, but it's also, I feel like it's going to be important for knowing where you stand and knowing where you, where you, um, where you fit in. To your life and the story where it's going I feel like your the, the where it's going it is more clearer but the energies are more lighter I feel like it's not a time to be over gluttonous so be careful of maybe overeating or be gluttonous um, and we are getting to that that holiday season where we tend to overindulge a bit but I feel like new things that you find inspiring or new things that you thought you haven't tried I do feel like it's a very important time to try that and it's kind of like things are on show so you might feel like something about being everyone's on show or being on show um there could be someone around you who is a bit crabby who's a bit grumpy who might like nip at you or bite or try and you know get you down or say things if you're in a good mood to make your mood change and i do feel like that might it, it might be a trigger for you or push your buttons and I feel like this person, they're somewhat loyal, but not really. They're a bit like, do I trust this person? This is going to be, a, it could actually make you self-reflect on things too with this week. But don't trust the negativity. I feel like we're in about a, more about a positive change and positive reinsurance coming in this week. Um, this person's like I need to turn a blind eye or I need to really turn my back on this person if it if it's coming if you can relate to that um, I feel like it is about being strong and strong in beliefs I feel like there's something about the illusion, the delusion or being um, delusion or being could be a bit being betrayed or so that trapped energy coming in here um, or temptation uh, or be aware of people who are really that that crabby energy or that fiery energy because it is a fire sign sag is a fire sign but i feel like it's not an intense fire sign the ego is out of sag but they're still um that's still there which could be the energies Hear about is government institutions. I feel like we're going to hear a lot about war things. We're going to be here about a lot about what's going on around the world. We're going to, and it's going to be triggers. I think people might be put on edge, but at the same time with this sage energy, it's like they're on edge but don't care. Or people are reacting in different things. Um, that's coming up with it. Two. There will be separation of paths, like people are going exploring different paths, different different unique possibilities. That's that's coming in. Okay, let me do a quick channel for you. Let's see. This new moon energy is going to be embraced. 
the different changes is going to embrace the challenges that are coming towards you you are all exploring different things and going through different things in your all in your own lives it is time now to take a step take a step out of your comfort zone and embrace change and embrace possibilities for this good energy around you will not be there for long it will only be there for about two to three months when you step into next year's energy it's going to be quite different for the world will dramatically change in one instinct in january where things are going to feel like they're upside down again it is not all bad do not get upset and do not worry stay positive embrace the change and embrace what is coming for it is coming for what is coming it's going to be a great change for you all where you all can get to an a or golden age of spirituality and uniqueness where things are going to start rolling in one by one people are going to want to reach more possibility of spirituality for there are different spirits there are different guides and different angels that people will want to connect to this will all evolve into something much more different than what you all know to be now okay so now i'll do some cards and then we will leave it there let's have a look here in a couple of weeks i am going um, away so then when I go away I'm hoping to catch up on my predictions and looking at next year's predictions too um, so I'm, I need to take a week off but I'll still be doing my videos and things too while I'm I'll still fit that into my schedule I just need to take a break and that's where we're on the first week of December um, okay and also, I just want to say um, about the floods in Australia at the moment. So where the flood is, it's not near me. Um, I'm fine. It is more, I think it's more inland. I don't actually don't know. I've seen it on the news, but I don't actually know where that is. I think it's in more inland Australia or New South Wales. Um, it's just our dams. So for us, we have, um, we've got a lot of dams. And that's where we get our water from, the rain. And it's just they're full to capacity because of all the rain that we've had, which I do feel like the government is controlling the weather here. Because we've never had this much rain. Okay. And this is what I feel. Let's see, four cards. Okay, so card number one, we've got this card here we just got here there is a bit of distress in this card with the girl looking a bit distressed but at the same time it is about aligning being in line with your spirituality your spirituality your chakras um aligning them to like maybe doing meditation to align chakras would be good this week i feel like it's going to be out your communication chakra might be out or you could or the communication trying to get out what you need to say there's an aspect of showing courage this week of saying what you need to say to someone. Um, I sort of feel like there's a, a wishing on stars or, or it could be like a, um, what do you call them, those shooting stars you might see in the sky. It's an, but it's, oh, so it's all about alignment and having that courage to say what you need to say. I also feel like this week is about showing compassion to others and embracing love and embracing the change that's happening around you. I feel like there could be an opportunity for you to um have start a relationship or could be engagement but there's some sort of relationship coming up around you this week that needs attending to or some sort of celebration as well card number two which is this card here hey i get this card coming out a lot this card is look it's about change but it's also about symbols about loved ones around you i feel like you're seeing symbols and signs there is a, a thing about connecting to source it's a, I feel like with this card series really about missing people who are passed over that are acknowledging family members um, that they are still around you. Also, I feel like at this time it's good to go near the beach, be near the water. I feel like it's good to have like for this card family holidays um, or just like going to water if you can, being around water and then nature. But it's like sudden changes. So there could be a sudden change in events this week where you're, you're going in a, a different direction than where you once thought you would be in um with this, this card you might beginning of the week could look a bit gloomy but by the end of the week things are lightening up around you 
card number three. This card here is good for romance, embracing change, embracing love. Like there's also um, something about the financial. You might lose all money. You might be spending too much a little bit this week. There is um, a thing of wanting to be having being freedom or being free. There could be some emotional stuff happening around, around the home or wanting to make that next step in your relationship, taking that risk. It is about love blossoming around you, going on dates, meeting people that around you that's new, inspiring, um, passionate or compassion coming up here for others. It could be that you're having to spend time with others, also counselling them or being there for them, but it is about so embracing love and all about love so with any any form of relationships card number four which is this card here with this card it is um i say be careful being too about vain i mean i guess such it is a, a pretty sign for like people a lot of the actors and actresses have sag in their chart um a strong sag in their chart if ascending or moon or sun so there is something about um, some hearing that mirror mirror on the wall who's the fairest of them all. So there is an aspect of maybe jealousy around you, of your beauty or grace. Uh, but also about self-reflection. It is a new door opening up, but there's an obstacle in your way that you're having to get over first. There's, um, it is about embracing change and also miracles there's like some sort of miracle could possibly happen around you this week it's like believing in miracles and believing that you know the unexpected could could happen for you too and don't be scared don't, don't hide away and let the beauty within you shine without as well with this card okay so um that's it for um the reading so I hope you all have a good new moon. I think the, most of the energies coming up here are quite getting to be quite positive. So let's, um, let's see what happens and I'll see you for my next video. So bye for now.